Yeah, so I'm Sandeepani Tiwari. I did my postgraduation in statistics. And from my childhood, I've been very interested in cricket and statistics and numbers in general. So uh, if you can't be a cricketer, you might as well stay in the sport uh, with something that you can use, with some knowledge that you can use for cricket. So I had the passion for cricket right from the start. And add to that, I, I did my master's in statistics. So it's, it's been like that for me. And now I've currently I'm working uh, full time for a company uh, as a business analyst and part time I am a sports analyst, cricket analyst for uh, for a fantasy app. Yeah, it's interesting actually because uh, I was first uh, I first heard about Mad about Sports from one of my friends who shares a like mindedness in cricket. Uh, he is also very interested in cricket. So uh, it, it was just after my, uh, we were still doing our post graduation and suddenly he told me that there is a course, a seven day course for uh, cricket analytics using Python. So I, I thought might as well improve my skills with Python as well and, and try it out. So the course was uh, delightful. And then after the seven days, I was, I was just hooked to this world of cricket analytics and sports analytics in general. Uh, so we had a awesome session with uh, not just one, we had a complete week of awesome sessions with David Gladson and then I joined the master class. So after I joined the master class, life has been different for me. I started getting a lot of uh, internship offers and job roles uh, regarding this sports analytics, great analytics and it finally gives me the chance to pursue, pursue my passion for cricket. Yeah, so after the seven day course, as I said, I was really hooked up to the to the to the cricket analytics field. So I decided to join the six month master class with the Mad About Sports, and then David Gladson taught me all these uh, pre predictive analysis, how to use predictive analysis in cricket, and I found it very fascinating. And then suddenly, uh, I started to receive a lot of uh, intensive offers, and it all started with a small. Uh, I think it's a audio broadcasting company called Swell. So they hired me as a cricket broadcaster, which was not actually my forte, but uh, I, I decided to get on board with it. And that is when I think uh, I, I was introduced to the world of cricket and cricket analytics, uh, how to sort of tell or weave stories uh, with statistics and display it in a better, better manner. And from that, uh, within by the time I completed my master class, I already had four internship offers out of which uh, I decided to do three. Swell was one. And I think my breakthrough moment would be uh, when I joined uh, the fantasy app called Boomer, uh, Boomer 11. After I joined Boomer 11, I think uh, it, it, it was a fantasy uh, sports app. Uh, and so my applications of cricket and statistics could be used in a better manner. And I think uh, from then onwards, there has been no looking back. Yeah, I think first of all, if you want to start off as a cricket analyst, I think uh, you, you need to know one of the programming languages. Uh, for me, I think I was introduced to Python, but I also had some background knowledge of R. So I think right now the two more, uh, two of the more prevalent programming languages that can be used as a, for, as a cricket analyst are Python and R. Along with it, I think you also need a data visualization tool to use all your graphs and charts to represent it in a better manner. Once again, I think there are two uh, widely relevant right now. I think Power BI and Tableau are the two things really relevant in the world of cricket. And along with it, I think uh, if you have some uh, SQL, no uh, SQL knowledge, uh, structured query language knowledge, I think that will do you great uh, job. And, and first of all, you just have to have the passion for, for the sport, not just for cricket. If you want to be a cricket analyst, you have to have the passion for cricket and passion of pers pursuing that dream because there are aren't any holidays in, in cricketing calendar or a football calendar, uh, so as to say. So you will have to be really enthusiastic about the sport. And along with it, if you talk about technical knowledge, I, either of Power BI or Tableau, either of Python or R, and SQL will be enough. Yeah, for, if you want to be an analyst, I think uh, I, I have started, I started from scratch. I mean, I had a First of all, I had some sort of advantage because I did statistics and since I wanted to be an analyst, statistics and numbers in general, you have to be friendly with numbers. I think that is uh, one thing that you should be friendly with numbers. And I think also you have to be really enthusiastic about the game of 
a game that you're pursuing be it cricket be it football along with it i would also uh, this is my personal suggestion because uh, i have been in this field for around 2 years now so for, personally for me i think you should uh, have uh, like if you want to switch roles suppose you are doing a job and then you want to be a cricket analyst you have that passion in you i won't suggest you to directly drop off uh, drop off what you are doing and join uh, this cricket analytics you can start off as a part time or as an intern and then you can learn the craft along with uh, your job so once you think that you are good enough and you can you can sort of go on and pursue the skill uh, you have the skill set needed to be a cricket analyst you can go ahead and pursue it but you have to be patient one thing is that uh, it's not all uh, very uh, easy and and um, there are opportunities but uh, you'll have to be uh, there is luck involved as well so you'll have to be patient with uh, with with the if you want to be an analyst you have to be patient you have to look for the right role the right job that you need and i think uh, to start off with you can just start off with the cricket analytics workshop i think david glatson is outstanding with uh, with uh, the basic concepts of uh, sports analyst uh, in general cricket cricket in general and python as well so you have programming language you have a sport and he just uh, gets you through with it brilliantly and if you are really interested you can also go through the master class and i think that is when you will start getting uh, internship opportunities and uh, uh, part time offers as well probably full time as well so you'll have to pick your roles carefully